because Apple ranked its 200, I'm sorry, its 100 greatest albums today. They've been ranking them and they came up with number one today. We'll talk about it. And I, I generally don't like lists. I generally am not a fan of lists. Um, and they just invite beef and controversy or they remind you of how really bad people are at their jobs, right? Like there's a way that when they put out the 10 greatest movies of all time, the five greatest, you know, power forwards of all time, whatever the thing is, I find there's a lot of bad stuff on these lists. Now lists are subjective. Everybody has a right to their own list. I don't think my top five MCs should be pilloried, and I don't think yours should be celebrated and vice versa. Like, you like who you like, want what you want. But when you issue something on a platform as big as Apple and you frame it as a kind of definitive greatest of, best of, all time, whatever list, you give it authority. And Apple's list is just, it's just trash. It's just trash, y'all. It's just trash. Let me pull this thing up. I'm going to go. I need y'all to see this. Do you see this? Do you see this? I want you to look. These are the 100 greatest albums of all time. Now, they start. They start, I'm on the Apple site, so you can see this yourself, right? Robin Body Talk is the 100 greatest album of all time. Just from there, Hotel California Eagles, great album. Is it top 100? Absolutely. But Body Talk by Robin or Astro World by Travis Scott? You want me to believe that Astro World from Travis Scott is an album so good that only 97 albums in human history are better than Astro World by Travis Scott. That's what you want me to believe? I'm not going to go through each one. Although I'm curious to know what y'all think. Right. I, I need to know what y'all think about this list. But I'm going to fast forward all the way to number one. Because this is where I get very frustrated. The number one album they have of all time. The number one album they have of all time. Of all time. Is the miseducation of Lauren Hill. By the way, I got to laugh. Abel Tesfaye said the weekend not even making the list shows the whole list is a joke. I just want to point out that it's no coincidence that the one Habesha person here in the in the classroom right now is the one person complaining that the weekend ain't on the list. A little stereotypical. I love you anyway, my brother. But the number one, I'm teasing too. The number one album of all time is The Miseducation Lauren Hill. Look, I love The Miseducation Lauren Hill. I think it's an excellent album. But the greatest, you tell me no album in the history of the world is better than the miseducation of Lauren Hill? I love the album too. Robert, I swear to God, I love that album. I'll be repping for that album. Oh, was Abel not Habesha? His name is Abel. I just assumed he was. I forgive me. Um let's go to number two. Because I don't want to think like this is a, 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 a hate thing. I don't want you to feel like I'm hating. Because it's not a Lauryn Hill hate. Again, I'm a huge Lauryn Hill fan. Number two on the list is Thriller. Now, I happen to not think that Thriller is Michael Jackson's best album. I actually think Off the Wall is Michael Jackson's best album. I think Thriller gets the love. But but uh, Off the Wall is actually the one. If you go, if you go to a party, I guarantee you most people want to hear uh, uh, Thriller. But... 
I think I don't even think Lauren Hill would say that Miseducation is better than Thriller. Abbey Road by the Beatles, number three. I'm good with that. That's that's a top five album of all time. Although, you know, Sgt. Pepper's up there too. Prince Purple Rain. Amazing album. Frank Ocean, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're trying to tell me. And I know y'all blood is about to get boiled. I already know April Silver's blood is boiling looking at this. I can hear I can see her in the classroom right now getting mad. Frank o y'all really think that Frank Ocean's album is so good that only four albums in the history of the world are better than Blonde? And what makes it so disrespectful, what makes it so disrespectful is that they put Stevie Wonder's song in the key of life right after it. That's the most disrespectful part. Songs in the key of life. If they had put songs in the key of life, number one, you wouldn't have heard a word out of me. I don't think it's number one album all the time, but you wouldn't have heard a word out of me because you know what? That's a reasonable choice. Songs in the key of life, just to give you context, has loves in need of love today. I'm not going to name all of them. Just some of the big ones. Sir Duke. I wish. Knocks me off my feet. Pastime paradise. I'm going to throw in Summer Soft, even though it wasn't a single. Isn't she lovely? Joy inside my tears. Black man. And it also has, for the record, if it's magic and the piece de resistance, as, as might be, literally, the greatest song ever written. As by Stevie Wonder might be the greatest song ever written. As around the sun, the earth knows she's revolving and the rosebuds know to bloom in early May. Look, I'm gonna pull this up for y'all. I need y'all, for you kids out there that don't know this song, go listen to it, right? Look at it. As just as hate knows love's the cure, you can rest your mind assured that I'll be loving you always. As now can't reveal the mystery of tomorrow, but in passing we'll grow older every day. Just as all that's born is new, you know what I say is true, that I'll be loving you always. This is the greatest song maybe ever made on maybe the greatest album ever made. And you telling me that it's not better than Blonde by Frank Ocean? I mean, no disrespect to Prince or the Beatles. I'm not even sure, I mean, I mean, we can debate those, but I guarantee you Frank Ocean would take a Heineken bottle, break it over a table, and cut you with it for saying that his album was better than songs in the key of life. Frank Ocean does not think that. Frank Ocean didn't think that. He doesn't think that. Frank Ocean is somewhere right now irate that y'all did this to him and it did this to Stevie in his name. I'm like, some of this stuff is just a prisoner of the recent. You telling me that Curtis Mayfield ain't got an album better than Amy Winehouse? Seriously, you telling me Curtis Mayfield ain't got an album better than Amy Winehouse? You telling me John Coltrane's Love Supreme ain't better than Back to Black? And I love Amy Winehouse. Kendrick Lamar's album is amazing. But you telling me there's no rap album better than Good Kid, Mad City? And by the way, I think Good Kid, Mad City is Kendrick's best album, and I think it's one of the greatest rap albums ever. But is it better than every Public Enemy album? Is it better than every NWA album? Is it better than every Jay-Z album? Is it better than Illmatic? Is it better than Doggy Style? Is it is it better than Enter the 36 Chambers? Is it better than Ready to Die? 
this list is the problem with the music world today. I ain't gonna go through no more of them. Although I will point out, shout out to Beyonce. Beyonce has two albums. She's the only woman to have two albums on this list. Um, but when you look at this list, what you learn is how much in our society we are prisoners of the of now, the recency bias here. Because when you look at this list, I'm start, you know, you see a lot of people who probably shouldn't be on here. Or they're in strange places. Like, really, Tyler, the creator, Flower Boys, the 92nd greatest album ever? I'm struggling with that. Nina Simone, only number 88. Mary Blodge? My Life? I can't imagine that not being further down that list if we talk about greatest albums. Doggy Style, we talked about. Patti Smith Horse, these are great albums. Get Rich and Die Trying, amazing album. These are all amazing albums. I don't got no problem with them. But some of these things... You know, this Norman fucking Rockwell album by Lana Del Rey is a masterpiece. Just not sure it's the 79th greatest album of all time and so forth and so on. So this album list is a prisoner of a very specific problem we have in our society. Come on, Baduism. Badu album is legendary. But I guarantee you, if Baduism is on this list, these... All right. If you have Baduism on this list, fine. I love Erica Badu. But if that's her only album on this list, you're going to have to explain to me why Mama's Gun ain't on there. Because Mama's Gun is by far Erica's greatest album. And I don't know anybody. Anyway, so there's a way here, I believe. Rihanna's anti-55? Anti really? That's a greater album than Badu's? That's a greatest, greater album than Voodoo by D'Angelo? That's a greater album, greatest album than Sade, Love Deluxe, and Tupac, All Eyes on Me? It's greater than Three Feet and Rising? It's greater than The Queen is Dead? Is Appetite for Destruction by Guns and Roses? Oh, I was about to say, I was about to lose my mind. Appetite for Destruction, Sweet Child of Mine. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Come on, the Joshua Tree. The Joshua Tree is only number 49? Anyway, I said I'm going to go through the whole list. In effect, Drake? Drake? I'm going to cut my own face right now. Drake, take care. Sorry, I'm getting a note from my wife upstairs. You're really loud. Sorry. Baby's sleeping. I, I've never gotten that note before. You know why? Because these albums got me angry. Drake Take Care? The fact that Drake Take Care is in the same conversation as Exodus. The fact that they're in the same tier. Equimini? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm nonplussed. I know all the old heads in this room with me is sitting here like really... When we all fall asleep, where do we go? Oh my God, low end theory. Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin. But oh my God. I'm losing my mind here, y'all. I'm literally losing my mind. I'm about to jump off of this. Adele 21? You tell me there's is better than Aretha, every Aretha Franklin album is better than Guns N' Roses, better than Pink Floyd, it's better than U2 Joshua Tree. It's better than Beyonce's album. It's better. Than... I think it's crazy that Drake has an album here, and and Lil Wayne's Carter Three or Carter Two ain't on here. This is a travesty. As Sam, as, as Bill DeBoney said, no Sam Cooke so far, no Bob Dylan. I mean, no James Taylor, no, I mean, no Rick James, I mean, no Nat Cole. I, you know what, y'all? I need a break. We're going to take a break and come back. Cause just Let me say, for just this list sucks monkey balls. That's the, my official position. And number two, this is why... You can't let the corporate nerds be in charge of our music or our culture. 
because this is what they do. 